Hello YouTube, this is uh, Tofu Smurf, and um, I just wanted to get a video for you guys real quick, because uh, I'm putting together another one right now also, but um, I wanted to get you guys a video of the Type T34, like I said, I would be showing you guys compilations of the tanks that I grind up on that Chinese tech tree, um, and so we had the M5A1 Stewart, and now we're on the Type T34. Um, the Type T34 is uh, decently quick. Um, the gun isn't spectacular, but the greatest thing about the gun is the quick reload times. Um, and you're going to see that in this battle. Um, this battle, in particular, isn't so great in terms of a uh, kill standpoint. But I wanted to show you guys this video because of um, something we did towards the end regarding um, something that helps win without spoiling anything. So as you can see, this thing's firing at just a shade under two seconds. Um, every so every two seconds, it's pretty much getting a shot off. Looks like that one went uh, right I think it's like 1.91 or some other like that. And that Crusader drove into a teammate KV. I don't know how you we drive into a slow tank like that, but That's gotta hurt. way to not pay attention. Bounce so as you can see, I'm bouncing here and there, uh, but. It doesn't matter to throw those shells out because you're reloading such a high rate you can take chances on shots like that. That was side turret. More often than not we would have pen. I mean it is a trip for one, tier five, whatnot. So again, uh, now the Chinese tanks you have to learn is they don't really have great depression. Um, so you to do some of these things you kinda have to put yourself in a perilous position. So you kinda wanna make sure you are in a favorable position so that you don't, you know, stick yourself out too much to try to do things. Now, we're sandwiched here between the KV-1 Churchill Stug and the other crew over there. So the thing with a 3-pack of Type T-34 is to focus targets out. So this Stug has his side facing us and we want to put some shots into it. And as you can see, I am bouncing some shots that I wish I'd be killing with. Now their team starts to cap and that will not change anytime soon. They have, as you can see, 3 plus people on cap. We ignored the KV and the, and like the right Church Road to take out these tanks just to get them out real quick and free up our entire like uh, right flank over here. And then after that we go for these two heavies. Um, in retrospect I should have been moving we the back. because they do get the cap up pretty high. I take a couple of shots at the KV-1 I believe but then yeah I think I'm going to leave to try to reset. They're hit. Enemy armor is hit. Never mind. We didn't even scratch them. As you can see, um, Lagine is next to me, to my left, on his way towards Cap. Morbid, <laughs> I believe Morbid said shit, I took a wrong turn. Because <laughs> he was supposed to help us reset Cap. And now it's a 20 second race to Cap. We're not particularly close to Cap. Neither do we have good pen. Um, so this should have been a loss for us. Uh, this thing's not accurate on the move. I have no modules on this thing. So this is what it is, pretty much. Um, now it's at 97, 98, and late game, my brother gets a shot off and hits something on the move. Now he's going to die because of it, but, you know, he reset, he bought me time to get in there. Now, the object here isn't so much to get kills immediately, but because it's at 80 some seconds, my goal here is to be as disruptive as possible and just pen. So I failed there, I got four more points left to go, and I just made sure I get a clean hit. So I rotated the Lee, I rotated T1 Heavy, and before I die, I, re I reset the M7. So that, that's a good way to reset. Um, you know, 1200 damage with this tank. I mean, the damage output of this gun isn't that spectacular, but again, the rate of fire and hitting sides of tanks, hitting rears of tanks, you really shouldn't be engaging in the front unless it's something weaker than you for sure. So, um, ignore the MC Hammer lyrics I'm, spe I'm spewing in the chat. So. so again, this is how to reset cap. And uh, we'll move on to the next video, which I believe is another Sandman. Again, I just wanted to show you the potential of these tanks, so you guys will like it, I think. I enjoy this grind. 
So hopefully you guys can enjoy it as well. And hopefully these videos, if anything, if you're not enjoying it, um, will give you tips on how to play it better or differently. Okay, so uh, hang in tight and I'll get you guys to the next video or replay. So yeah, like I said, um, another sand map, Joy. Again, not great for a tank that doesn't have great depression. Now I'm here with, uh, again, my brother Nagin and PPK. Uh, PPK is only tier 5, is that M4? He is not being in sport by grinding up Chinese tanks like a boss. But we'll forgive him this time, I suppose. So uh, again, they got these, these tanks have decent speed. At this tier, you're not really going to get one-shotted by too many things. Um, and then the accuracy of the guns at this tier is not spectacular. So we pushed down to the water thinking that we can get there relatively safely. Uh, seeing as how it's just a Covenator and a PZ-4 coming at us, uh, they won't really survive. Now I get a little too gung-ho here. I shouldn't have done this. As you will see, this replay is quite boring on my end. Um, when I noticed that they had all that shit up there, I just kind of decided to hit rock in. Yeah, that's me wishing I was there. I decided to pull a dumb and sit on this freaking rock. So um, here, I'm not familiar with this spot too often because I don't really come here too often. So I'm trying to peek out and get shots. This freaking stug who was unlit before this just managed to get a shot off on me. Um, I haven't watched the replay in a while so there you go. Don't stay in the open. PPK will make you punt. It will make you uh, feel bad about it. Now I will say this, um, this is not exactly a great spot to be <laughs> I'm being lit by who knows what and probably those heavies of Churchills. And so I've kind of put myself in a precarious situation. Now we know that some of the heavies are here so we are trying to rotate uh, northwest to avoid those because they're slow they're not gonna come you know chase us down and we're gonna try to help the other flank seeing as how this flank probably won't be doing too much moving uh, although I believe we pick off some tanks in the top of the hill. I'm actually starting to wonder whether this uh, this battles kill count for our platoon gets up there Jesus. So if their Churchill was any good at aiming, um, we could potentially all be dead. We nailed it back. Enemy is hit. Um, oh, I forgot to mention PPK is running the derp, and I believe he was throwing gold in this one. Uh, again, I re will reiterate, I don't throw gold personally in pub matches. Uh, People say, oh, why not, you know, because, you know, you could buy full of credits, and I'm like, well, you know, I'm grinding so many lines, if you guys would see my, the way, how many doubles I do per day to, and I only grind, I only do my doubles for, uh, They're knocked out. tanks I'm grinding, I don't actually even double my tier 10s anymore, really, uh, play some arty here and there, but, uh, I, I need the credits to buy a bunch of tanks, you know, I have a bunch of, tier 10s and tier 9s I'm going to unlock soon, so um, I, I, I don't need them, I don't feel like I need them, I know where to pin everything with anything, uh, you know, save certain certain particular matchups and whatnot, so I would say a good 90% of the time I'm pretty confident in my ability to pin something, and um, you know, in my play I try to I try to position myself in places so that I'm not fighting the best armor of every enemy. I don't know what this guy was doing here. So we're sitting at 9 kills right now, so yeah, 10. And uh, we're getting into crucial contribution zones here. Uh, this Churchill 3 is completely unaware is that we're coming up behind him. We don't exactly have too much health, as you can tell it's only 450 fully upgraded. We and these are, uh, unlike when I was playing the M5A1 Stewart in the last time I did the Chinese video, 
Um, these are fully upgraded, so. Anyhow, moving on. Now we're on Pro Kuroka, back with Morbid. Um, Let's get and I, like I was saying road. previously, uh, what you see now is the fully upgraded Type T34. Uh, maybe without a top radio, but for sure tracks engine gun uh, turret. So, uh, for those of you who are still grinding your way up, this is what you're going to look forward to. So I strongly advise if you guys are grinding up these Chinese tanks right now, uh, this is how you should play them, in my opinion. Uh, they're not a frontline tank. They're not meant to engage <clears throat> heavy tanks from the front, generally speaking. Uh, these things are meant to be flanking and whatnot. Sorry about that right there. I was experimenting whether I could go a battle in sniper mode the whole time. But I probably would have given myself a headache. Let alone uh, probably die and do nothing. Although I do want to try recording a live battle where I'm our, a platoon of us are just in sniper mode the entire time. That would be kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, who knows? I probably would need to take like motion sickness pills or something beforehand. So uh, anyway, it's the battle. We're taking up the standard you know, medium-ish, light-ish uh, route, which is to get on the hill, um, mainly to get side shots like this against, you know, that Lee's. Gotta hurt. Clearly, Lee, our target. That one bounced. Which I clearly Enemy can't hurt. Armor is destroyed. <laughs> so again, we're setting up on hill, even though we, have, we don't have depression. Um, it's not too dangerous to snipe off this. There's only one artillery. Uh, with our rate of fire, we can really screw up those tanks up there. I believe we fire faster than all of them. So, you know, it's just a matter of focusing fire, getting, getting you know, single tanks out. I swing wide because uh, when you have your teammates and platoon mates engaging from the front, you want to swing wide so that the enemy can't keep all of you guys in the same view. As in, if he aims in sniper mode, he can't see all three of you or all two of you. Or um, he doesn't have, like you want to make you want to make it so that he has to move his turret quite a bit to be able to shoot at different targets. That way you maximize the amount of health you leave engagements with, and um, that generally leads to more health later on in the battle, meaning more probability that you guys will win. So um, generally with the three with a three man platoon. Uh, we try to go one center and two wide, or two wide and one wall snipe, and then when that tank's turning, we'll engage, which will be us. You know, the guy who sniping would get in the front. Now, like I said, I probably shouldn't be engaging with the front, um, but this Churchill is kind of squishy. He is preoccupied trying to hit me. Um, he's actually taking quite a, too long to kill me, but I barely survive on that one. Uh, now, platoon tactic here is, we know there's a KV-1 down the hill, is to cycle out health. So the lead tank should not be me or the other weak one, which I believe is, yeah, which I believe is my brother. So Morbid's taking charge. That way the first shot goes at him and then we take advantage of the KV-1 uh, while he's on reload, <clears throat> for however short that is. So he's got two one-shotable tanks on him, right? That one didn't go through. But He's not looking Bounce at down. any one of us in particular. That's gotta hurt. We nailed the bat. I don't even know what this is. Through. Like tactically, I don't even what is that? Tactical posturing? I, I really don't know. So again, uh, that's three tier fives sitting with four fifty health each, a two second reload, and we have managed to pretty much clean up the hill on our own. Uh, granted with some help from snipers on the low road but I mean the, this this tank in a wolf pack can be quite beastly uh, I enjoy playing it uh, I actually enjoy playing it solo too so I mean it's really not a bad tank you just have to get over the fact that you know you're not gonna do much damage you're not gonna have good pen and your your accuracy might not we be what you would off. want it to be you know but now. But I think this tank, when played properly, is quite a, a beast of a tank. 
seeing as how I'm sitting on um, 1300 damage on 19 freaking hits. Uh, so again, as this battle comes to a close, I hope you guys learned something from this. And for those of you grinding up the Chinese tech tree, uh, bear with me. I have a 59.16 that, that I'm playing, trying to get you guys clips of that. Uh, which, you know, don't tell anybody, but the 59.16 is the only autoloader that I know of that can mount a rammer. Anyhow, uh, so hopefully this helps you guys on that grind. I will be putting up a Carnarvon video as well as another compilation video and PPK is working on a test server video so that you guys can see the tier 9 and tier 10 British TDs. So uh, thanks for tuning in.